Hello everyone, Professor Sandeesh Lata here from Mumbai Education Trust, Institute of Pharmacy, Local Knowledge City, Nasik, Maharashtra. This video is on subject carbon footprint and pharma industries prepared for purpose of international FDP on environment and sustainability organized by Diva Patil College of Engineering, Akodi. So this is just the overview on uh, week 1 video and uh, week 2 video. Week 1 video was on environment awareness and its need, while second video was on environment sustainability and way to achieve. After uh, listening to this video, you will able to understand the concept of greenhouse gas emission, what is carbon footprint, carbon footprint of global pharmaceutical industries, how to calculate carbon footprint and water footprint with uh, example and remedies to control carbon dioxide emission. As we know that every country has their own regulation for the protection of environment and usually it is known as the Environmental Protection Agency. Along with that, there are few uh, international regulating agencies who contribute in development of environment standards. Few of them, the first one is ASTM, that is American Society for Testing and Material. ASTM technical committees have published hundreds of standards that promote environmental safety. Second one is ISO, that is International Organization for Standardization. ISO 14000 is a series of international standards on environmental management, which helps in improvement of environmental standards and performance. The third one is uh, BIS, which is nothing but Bureau of Indian Standards. It is Indian agency which actually promotes the environmental protection, environment and energy conservation. Now what is greenhouse gas? Any gas that has the property of absorbing infrared radiation emitted from earth's surface and redirecting it back to the earth's surface, thus contributing to the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide, methane and water vapor are the most important greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases actually surrounds the earth just like blanket. As when we uh, burn the natural gases, oil, the blanket become more and more thick, dense and less likely to allow heat to get escape out. Ultimately, as it gets trapped inside the blanket of greenhouse gases, it leads to increase in temperature and this effect is known as global warming. Concentration of greenhouse gases have varied substantially during Earth's history and it dramatically result in climatic changes at wide range of time scales. Out of all those greenhouse gases, Carbon dioxide is the most significant greenhouse gas. As we know that due to the industrial revolution, atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration has been increased by about 40% above 400 ppm. Current CO2 level is around 100 ppm higher than at any time in last million years. This increase in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases results into increase in temperature continuously. Now when we talk about India, the data which is there on slide clearly indicates that from 2012 to 2016 there is a continuous increase in average temperature. For 2012, 
average temperature was 25.61 degrees Celsius for 2013 it was 25.69 during 2014 it was 25.74 2015 it was 25.93 2016 it was 26.21 I would like to increase your attention on the fact that it has been confirmed that the average temperature of India was 0.36 degrees Celsius above to the normal during 2019 and 2019 is considered as 7th warmest year on record. It clearly indicates that there is continuous increase in temperature and we need to increase our attention on this fact. Now, what is carbon footprint? Carbon footprint is used to calculate carbon dioxide emission released in atmosphere by particular organization, community or individual. It is used to evaluate total greenhouse gases emission produced directly or indirectly. It is expressed in terms of equivalent terms of carbon dioxide emission. It can be calculated by carbon footprint calculator which is also available online. Now carbon dioxide emission by pharma industries. This slide will shock you. This is actually the study performed by uh, two environmental engineers, Loki and Ahmed from Canada, they studied around 200 big pharma industries in year 2015 and they concluded that pharmaceutical companies put out 13% more carbon emission than car manufacturer, although their market share is 28% less than car manufacturer. The total global emission from pharmaceutical sector is about 52 megatons equivalent in 2015 compared to the 46.4 megatons put out by car manufacturing industries in the same year. This is data which is published by uh, those environmental engineers. Uh, these are the few uh, well-known uh, pharma industries. Drug manufacturer actually emits greenhouse gases directly into atmosphere from their factories as a result of their production process and indirectly through power consumption. Overall, this study clearly demonstrated that yes, there is need to modify environmental practices in pharma sectors too. This study determined that overall pharma sector need to reduce emission by 58.6% from 2015 level by 2025 in order to comply with reduction targets which are given by Paris Agreement. Now, how to calculate carbon footprint? You can calculate carbon footprint by using carbon footprint calculators which are available on website. The website is also given on a slide. And this is just a demo calculation which is calculated for a uh, uh, for month purpose. You can also calculate uh, water footprint. Again, water footprint calculators are also available. This calculation is uh, uh, for uh, depending on the per day consumption of the water. And after uh, answering two questions which are there on website, you can easily calculate regarding the utilization of water. Now, how to reduce carbon footprint? First and most important step is that that organization or individual must actually calculate carbon footprint. Then, depending on the uh, area where they need to more focus in order to reduce the carbon emission, they must adopt two policies like they may use the renewable sources of energy. They can promote the use of energy efficient electrical appliance. Tree plantation is one of the uh, simple remedy uh, to reduce the uh, carbon footprint. Use of LED bulb, proper use of water, reuse and uh, recycling of the material 
are the two relatives with the help of which you can reduce the carbon emission in environment so thank you for uh, watching this video this is right time that we must come together to save our environment thank you once again